Onivia League of Legends highlights. In a malignant interaction with uh, Eclipse. It's just going to be the Udia for Dundon, which is execution on some of the punishes. The early barrier burn, the flashes being burned. I think all these factors hurt them. Oh, you there's the Weaver's Wall. Well. Yeah, I think that Execute is real dead. As Weaver's Wall isn't exactly long enough, Seismic Shove has to be flashed, and Henna sticking around for a little bit too long. Sylvie. Never, you know, in the history of League of Legends, there's never been a perfect game for both teams in the same game. Hey, that's true. And this might be the end of it now as you got Jiwu dashing forward, gets the double knockup with the wild growth. He'll take a turret shot, but he also doesn't care. As Execute, not going to be able to save this one. Q going to miss as there's a safeguard forward from Sylvie. Still wants to be able to find a fight, and they'll get another plate onto this. this one as Clear's moved over. You've got Dundon in exactly the same spot on the other side of the rift. He's going to blast cone his way in. We got a 5v5 as there's the Weaver's Wall. Nature's Grass going to be collected. Oh, oh my god! Right into the back line goes Jiwoo. He's got the wild growth and all of his health bar. And the Corky, where did he go? Oh my god, Henna is just going to be ripped to shreds by this Udia. And they had a package, um, but it was just, it was thrown safeguard. out. Safeguard? Uh, so safeguard is an ability, you know. Yeah. Uh, Jiwoo does have barrier. Um, there's also, you know. Will he be in hey, slice range? You are now That's the firmly question. dead. Yeah. Uh, Call Me is going to at least discover that there is a Renekton here, but he is immediately just going to get locked down by the Nature's Grasp. Flashes, tries to get out. There's a kick for the Disengage. Never mind, Call Me's just fine. He's throwing in the... Oh, and they pick it up, the seismic shot. Okay, uh, it was all just a cunning ruse. It was a bait. You know, and, I'm gonna uh, say it. Call me was the master. Even though Nongshim don't have any Chemtech Dragons or the Chemtech Soul, I feel like the spirit of the Chemtech Soul really helped them out there. Helped oh them my god, that was absurd. Okay, the culling. Going to fly in here as Jiwoo. We associate Sylvie with Lee Sin, but he's a Korean jungler. So obviously Lee Sin is his favorite champion you, in the universe. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, yeah, he's just out of there. And then didn't it turns up, and I didn't even know how Call Me managed to find that angle. It looked like he was out of range. It hit one of these cues. Doesn't connect that one onto Henna though. As now Call Me tanking up a turret shot momentarily as they're all stacked up. The double bubble is massive, but so is Dundon. He's taken down very low though and does have to eat the wild growth. That is a big cooldown that now Jiwoo will not have. Call Me. I think uh, getting this into turret is about the best that they can do as he tries to dash, does have flash still available and will have to use it. Nong shit. Yeah, they would I mean, like the, it. the Baron pull as well, like they managed to navigate it, they managed to get the health back on there. And they managed to get wild growth back as well. Yeah, it's all coming up Nongshim right now. But I don't I I don't know whether I agree with the strategy, but the outcome definitely worked. Results based analysis, everyone. Oh, that's what about I am it. about I normally. It. Okay, so. Ultimate does come on through here as Sylvie's trying to get himself out. That is going to be the Drake secured, but can they actually win the fight? Because Sylvie somehow slunk his way out of there. Yes, he wasn't able to get himself the Drake, though, so uh, that is definitely good news for Fearax. Dindin tanks a full culling and then asks, and then what? And they say nothing, really. Yeah. Uh, package delivered to the mid, the mid lane, and they are able to take out the out. So I think they were a little bit aware of where he was. Yes. Um, Somewhat short. It's not quite as egregious as the Scryer's Bloom um, from yesterday. As Seismic Shove going to pick up Willa. That's the jungler. He is so important in this moment. There's the kickback. It is onto the Renekton, though. Not necessarily the highest priority. And he is just going to Dominus keep himself alive. Still Nongshim with the health advantage. Weaver's Wall comes down. It's going to split up the fight as Henna has to dash out. It's another fantastic shove as the Lee Sin picks up a double. Now Closer is in trouble. Sylvie, he might just find one more. And there it is, the triple kill. And he's going to find Clear, but he's teleported away. Wants nothing to do with this at all. And Nongshim off the back of it. Kick off Clear. Yeah, I think closer, it wanted to be on Closer. closer. Valve too soon, but then here, splitting them with the wall, get the fight. Oh, uh, I think Colney may be in trouble. I think Dinda may be in trouble. Nongshim, Silk, Nongshim, you scripts, you know, they're prepping for playoffs. The script writers are very busy. Yeah, I don't think true. you can criticize them on this one. Yeah, something about a writer's strike or something like that. Yes. Uh, yeah, why not? That's more value for this uh, Chemtech Soul. He wants maximum shielding. Well, here is a Weaver's Wall as Colmy comes in. We're going to look for a little bit more here, but not the seismic shove. That is going to go a little wide. 
Burex able to walk their way out. These rockets getting scary as Jiwu over the wall. Culling not going to really connect, and they manage to take down the inhibitor. Dundun, does he take a damage? No. No, he doesn't. He took a damage. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's back. Yep. Uh, there's another one. That's back as well. Okay, now he's underneath the turret. I'm not sure about this one. He's dead. Uh, well, oh, while growth not. comes in, he is, he, is. He, is, he is dead. He is dead. Yeah. So we, we kind of thought, yeah. He wanted, he wanted to limit test, and yep. he's now realized that standing in amongst five people, X. they've got back on this Baron. This is getting messy. But Jiwoo's health bar is still extraordinarily large. As I say it, a little bit of poke damage does come on through. He cannot be frontlining. Not just yet. And Dundun, he the understands as now Colmy dives in. He is going to be able to find his shove. Loses most of his health bar, but he can afford that. Flashes go forward. And Dundun, he's a huge red circle. And it's working out for Nongshim. There goes the Corky. And now Jiwoo is unleashed onto the rift. Execute. He doesn't really know where he's going. It's not anywhere good, unfortunately, as the Sonic Wave misses, but it does not matter. There are more rocks being thrown down here as Willa is going to twist an advance towards Colmy. The kitty cat gonna help Oh, down. oh, never mind. Oh God, okay. Is Wait, he gonna die? Is he? Is Chemtech Diff. Is it's Chemtech Diff. Oh, it is, it's Chemtech Diff. There it goes. You know, the 11% reduced damage. Because I made this planned play, uh, <laughs> hoping to go down that incredibly low. Calculated. Yep, precisely. And he needed the uh, Zonyas for the, the for the next point, as we saw. So the first inhibitor going to go down on this push. Next one very soon to follow. And you mentioned, I mean, it's Exodia for another minute 20. And Purex, they just have to try and keep these Nexus turrets alive, but it's so hard into the Talia. Doesn't find the size. He does, actually. It's on to Henna, and at last hits him. Now Nongshim, they are just going to break this one up. Jiwoo dives in. He is what a tank. He is a monster! What was that? That's like old Zeri when she was giga broken! That's the quadra kill! Another one! And Nongshim, they come back one mistake from Fear X and the